This is the Longwa Valley, home of the walking safaris, all one man's vision, no man car. And it is because of this one man, the whole of uh, the continent is benefiting. Norman's life reads a little bit like a boyhood story. He was an extraordinary man that he was a visionary in that time, as we know that hunting and the Big Five was the main focus in those days. But and something just changed his mind, and he thought of the animals. How can the communities benefit from conserving all the game that surrounds us? He felt that it was very important to include the local people in the benefits of wildlife. And as you can see from the Luangwa Valley, it's a beautiful walking country interspersed with thickets and lagoons and hence began the birth of walking safaris. This place is very, very special. It's still very unspoiled. Things are still very, very, very wild. It's more or less like, you know, you have really tested the very good honey from a very good tree. In 1950, the ball started rolling. 63 years later, we've got over 30 camps in the Luangwa. Norman Car Safaris offers this magical combination of heading out to the bush, staying at Luyan and Solo. Come back here, you're at Chinzombo and you're floating above the river. It's this wildly luxurious camp, but then you can also wake up in the morning with the eye of an elephant right next to your villa. Norman Kai himself, he believed that, you know, photographic safaris in a vehicle was very good, but we still miss a lot. So walking was getting very much closer to nature. To have the anticipation when you go out walking, you, can't see, you don't see the animals, and then the surprise when you bump into it, the adrenalines, that's the difference that people like about this place. They drive in the night, turn the car off, turn the lights off, and all of a sudden you'll hear a baboon barking in the distance. And then they'll turn the car back on and the lights back on and that, sure enough, there'll be a kill or there'll be a leopard on the stalk. It's an adventure. As part of that walking circuit, what you can do in the peak season is a fantastic experience that we call the return to the wild sleep out. And it really is an amazing experience where you feel like you're the last person on Earth. Zambia is known as one of the last wilderness areas. It's still an owner-operated environment, and so it really is like this big family feel. The other thing that's really brilliant about Zambia is its guiding. It's something that we take a lot of time and effort in. I've been with this company for 18 years. Norman Carr, he really encouraged a lot of us because he believed that the only way to improve the conservation was to involve the local people. We are still following his legacy. It's definitely a, an emotion that's tapped in everybody who comes here. And Norman's legacy has endured because of the values he believed in. You know, hopefully the results are beginning to show. And the fact that we have been running for over 63 years now is testament to those values. Life is all about, it's like a spider's web. We are all spanning into the same web. If you cut one strand, you just end up destroying yourself. Life is precious. Wildlife is precious. Let's all get together and enjoy the natural environment, whatever surrounds us.